Homes for Sale, Home Buyer's Blog, Rent versus Buying, Which is Cheaper, Part 3. Hey, Realtor and Area Specialist, Mike and Jennifer Wrigley here, bringing you the latest real estate information. Thank you for joining us. Today, we're going to continue our three-part series of Buying versus Renting, as reported by Jed Kolko, Chief Economist at Trulia. Why mortgage rates, tax brackets, and timing matters in the rent versus buy debate. Let's talk. <clears throat> so, what if you can't get the best mortgage rate? Don't itemize your tax deductions or stay in your home for less than seven years. Each of those raises the cost of home ownership, so buying wouldn't be quite as good a deal relative to renting. Here's why each matters. The best mortgage rates are available for people with the best credit scores, and a not so hot credit score could make your mortgage a full percentage point higher, which translates to at least a 10% difference in your monthly mortgage payment. Now, itemizing your deductions lets you subtract your mortgage interest and property tax payments from your pre-tax income which lowers your tax burden, especially if you're in a higher tax bracket. How much does not itemizing raise the cost of homeownership? Depends on your tax bracket and the amount of mortgage interest and property taxes, so it's an individual thing. If you got a mortgage, you might as well itemize. Now, selling a home in less than seven years after buying it means that you're, spending, you're spreading your buying and selling costs close over fewer years, making the average monthly cost of ownership a little bit higher. So, if buying is so cheap, why isn't everyone doing it? That's a great question. Home sales are still less than halfway back to normal, and the home ownership rate continues to fall. Doesn't make sense. The big obstacle holding back renters who want to buy is the down payment, even more than getting a mortgage. And keep in mind, in the metros where the cost of buying is less than half of what it would be to cost to rent over the long term, it still takes years to save enough for a down payment. It may be 56% cheaper to buy than to rent in Denver, for instance, but it takes more than eight years to save enough for a down payment there. And high employment during the recession made it even harder than usual for people to save for a down payment. On top of that, people who lost their homes or took on lots of debt might not qualify for a mortgage. Now, bottom line, buying may, be, may beat renting in every metro by a wide margin, <clears throat> saving consumers thousands of dollars, but buying still remains out of reach for many would-be homeowners. There's some great down payment assistance programs out there Call us. We'll talk to you about them. Now, if you enjoyed this series or need help finding that perfect home, uh, place to call home, call us today at 916-378-4671 for a free, no-obligation consultation. Or log on to www.wrigleyrealtygroup.com to start your online home search now. Call us today. You'll be glad you did. And we'll look forward to hearing from you.